What's going on everybody? Jeff here with Berm Donor Pythons. I am back from Michigan. I got to spend some time with Brian up at the Reptarium and all of his friends and family and crew and his place is just beyond exceptional. I mean, absolutely awesome place, but I am back in Pennsylvania. I came home to a female twitching. We're gonna go over what that means, but right now I'm gonna show you how I get this incubator set up. I'm gonna do a little maintenance to it, a little bit of work. Um, just show you how I incubate my eggs, kinda of go over temperatures and stuff, humidity. Um, I'm actually in my bedroom right now because that's where this stays because there's nothing better than waking up to little baby berms popping their heads out of eggs and I can keep an eye on them and it's like the least um, high traffic area in the house. So stay tuned. Let's get into this incubator. I'm going to describe what's in it, how I use it, what's going on, and what I made this out of. All right. So this incubator used to be an old Gatorade refrigerator cooler. And the first year that I actually bred Burmese pythons, I had a friend incubate my eggs. So I went out, I found one of these, I gutted it, I welded some wheels on the bottom. You kind of can just decorate them up the way that you want them. But the main or the most important thing is obviously the heat tape. So I have this old heat tape that I had laying around in here. I had it in here last year. I'm actually gonna tear this out and uh, Instead of running it just up the back, I'm gonna run it up the sides. There's the new roll of heat tape. And up there you can see my vivarium fan. I also have a fan mounted over here to circulate air. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and show you what it looks like afterwards. This is kind of before. And I will show you the after results as soon as I'm done here. I gotta cut this old tape out and run the new heat tape and how I wire it up and what kind of thermostat I'm using for and we'll go over temperatures. By the way, let's take some time right now to go uh, through some of these uh, wonderful people I have on here. Obviously, we got me, the berm donor, my man Calvin from Calvin's Creatures. This dude's next level. I mean, I think I sold him his first berm and he just blew up, shout out to him. Serpents by Design, Dominic out of New Jersey. He is just a awesome friend of mine. Uh, really helped me out over the years. Of course, my man Dave Palumbo. Got to meet him down in Florida. Got to pick up the champagnes from Dave. Aaron from Black Diamond Herps. Again, top notch. Uh, I bought an animal off of him and it's just blew my expectations out of the water. Uh, back up here, reptile tubs. I get a lot of my heat tape, my thermostats from those guys. I see them at local shows. It's nice and convenient. OG Exotics. We did a lot of uh, buying and trading and selling to each other. Up and comer, man, he one of the nicest dudes. Always enjoy seeing him. My man Tommy from Big T Exotics. He is a beast. Awesome dude. Beautiful animals. I got some pet caramels from him like two or three years ago. They're phenomenal. Um, yeah, this is actually the original Berm Donor logo that I messed around with. Uh, this was from the captive hatched wild caught Berm Clutch from Aaron from Black Diamond Herps. Um, just some other stuff over here. Triforce Morph, they are killing it in the ball python game. These are just some other stickers. I don't know everybody. Again, there's Tommy. I don't know everyone, but I always love, uh, you know, trading, sticker swapping. It's fun, fun little thing to do. I'm a huge Harley Davidson fan, whatever. Local radio station DJs here. But yeah, so you can decorate your incubator however you want. Shout out to all them people. Thank you for all that you do. And of course, again, I was just at the Reptarium. Boom, pick that up. Berm Donor Pythons. We're gonna show you how all that stuff lights up here shortly. All right, so for my thermostat, I'm using a Spider Robotics product. It's a Herpstat 2 with the new Spiderweb technology, I guess. I don't know how new it is, but I seen that and thought it was pretty cool. So I will be able to track and monitor and get alerts through my phone if all goes well and it's hooked up. 
So I wanted to try that. It's nice to always, you know, keep an eye on things while you're away. So I'm gonna get this hooked up, show you guys what it looks like when it's all done, and show you what I did with the heat tape. All right, so here is the incubator. It is up and running and coming up to temperature. You guys can see that there. So what I forgot that I did when I built this thing is this heat tape in the back here is actually wired incubator and without taking this whole thing apart, the internals of it, um, I wasn't able to take that out. But I do have new heat tape going up the sides on both sides. Brand new Herpstat 2 spider web. So I hooked up the Wi-Fi. So now I can read all my information, temps, um, high, low temps. It'll set alarms off if I hit either of those. So that's a pretty awesome feature that uh, you can have. You can also just use this as a regular Herpstat too. So um, yeah, the incubator's up and running. I had to get it up and running pretty quick because I will show you why here in a second, but yeah. There's the incubator. When I built this thing, I had this printed out and made up. We put LEDs behind it, kind of tried to dress it up a little bit. Um, there are toggle switches on the side to control the lights. Yeah, I have more shelves. I haven't put them in yet. I'm gonna do that here shortly, but Incubator is up and running. There's only one thing that we need. That is some berm eggs, baby. So, all right, let's go see what the girls are doing. All right, here we are in the snake room. I'm not gonna pull them open, um, maybe the one, but this is the big ivory granite girl that was paired with the pied. She just shed out. She definitely ovulated, I caught that. Um, she don't look massive right now, but this is her first year. Um, we'll see how she goes. She's parked on that hot spot, kind of kicked her paper over to the side. So those are all good signs. And then we have our granite girl, which is definitely ovulated last week. She should be going in the shed here anytime. Our Hypo female, she is full blown in blue and shed. And then this is why I needed to get the incubator hooked up. I'm gonna do this once for you guys and that's it. This girl is ready to lay and she is jammed in there. Of course she picked the worst spot, but if we can catch her, see that twitch? There it is again. That is her getting ready to lay those eggs. All right, so we also have our champagne girl here. She has kicked all her paper to the side. I have not seen her twitch yet. She's still, I would say about a week out, hopefully from her lay date. She's looking nice and thick here towards the back end. Everybody's showing me good signs, so it was time to get that incubator up and operating. But yeah, this is just a little update on what's been going on. And we are moments away from eggs, folks. It should be any day now. Okay, everyone. So this was kind of a low quality video. Uh, I was in the bedroom uh, looking through, at animals through the, uh, through the plastic here in the cages. Everyone's kind of a mess right now. It's, um, you know, there's not a, not, a, not a lot of interaction right now with these animals, especially the females. Uh, they're doing their thing. I'm not touching them. I'm letting them go. I'm filling water bowls just so it's there. Um, but it's been a long weekend. It's about midnight here in uh, Pennsylvania. I just got back from the Reptarium. We left early Saturday morning around 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning to get up to Brian's place around lunch or a little after. Um, it was an awesome weekend. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my other post, 
I was fortunate enough to be on his podcast on Saturday night. Uh, that's the Checking In podcast, uh, Snake Talk with Brian Barcheck. Um, the Reptarium, Brian, his staff, the whole facility, the animals, it, it is top notch. Um, you know, that guy right there works harder than anybody that I know, uh, myself included. Uh, there's no shortcuts. He's, he's an inspiration. He really uh, opened my eyes up to, you know, somebody that you can really tell that is passionate. Uh, you, can, you can see that he's tired, but he just keeps going. Um, he has a million different things going on. He made time for me. He makes time for each and every one of us that watch his content, that, you know, follow him, that, you know, his fan base, like we, there's people like, people like that are the people that we should be looking up to. Um, I definitely do. He's an inspiration. It was a blast. I got to hang out with my friends up there, be on the podcast, hold some animals that I never thought I'd see, let alone hold. It, it was truly an amazing experience. So go check out the podcast. Go check out his stuff. I'm sure everybody that watches me knows of Brian Barcheck or probably follows him and watches his videos. If you don't, do it. Checking in podcasts, the Reptarium, Snake Bites TV. I have nothing but good things to say. Truly, truly, on it. Like it was awesome being there. So, again, thank you, Brian. I don't know if you ever see this, but. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. I'm gonna get to bed, let these girls do their thing. We are days, maybe hours away from eggs. Um, we have that big normal down there twitching. That is, uh, I mean, it could be a week. I've seen and I've heard people say they, they can twitch it for about a week, but that is her you know, thermoregulating, getting ready to lay those eggs. And she will do that when she lays the eggs. So I'll go over that because I'm gonna do a video of me pulling them and a video of me setting them up and what you wanna, you know, what you wanna see with good eggs, bad eggs, slugs. Hopefully we don't have too many or any at all, but you know, it happens. So praying that everybody does good here. All the females have good, healthy clutches. Thank you again, Brian. Thank you again to everybody that watches this channel and that is subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, I'm just trying to help everybody out um, with these videos. So subscribe, go check out Brian's stuff. Support US Arc, always, we're not out of the water yet. So US Arc is a big deal. Thank you guys, this is long-winded. I'm tired, I could ramble all night. So thank you so much. As always, Jeff with Burn Burner Pythons. Burn on everyone.